the constants and quantities of the universe, things like the gravitational constant, the cosmological constant, the strong and weak nuclear forces, are all set with mind-boggling precision. If any one of these were altered even slightly, life as we know it would be impossible. Astrophysicist Hugh Ross has pointed out that the odds of all these constants being perfectly set up to support life is like one chance in 10 to the 138th power. To put that into perspective, that's a number so large that it defies imagination. It's a one with 138 zeros behind it. Far more reasonable is the idea that an intelligence calibrated it all. Francis Collins, who's the former head of the Human Genome Project, echoes this in his book called The Language of God. Collins, who was once an atheist himself, describes how the intricate language of DNA, three billion letters spelling out the code of life in every cell, awakened in him a deep realization. He said, I cannot see how nature could have created itself. Only a supernatural force that is outside of space and time could have done that. Likewise, Jack Collins, my former professor at Covenant Seminary, no relation to Francis, reminds us that belief in God is not a leap into the absurd, but a step into the most reasonable explanation for the world we actually inhabit. In his writings, Dr. Collins shows how scripture welcomes rational inquiry and honest wrestling. As he wrote in his book on faith and science, faith, according to the Bible, is not a leap in the dark. It's a warranted trust, a trust based on good and sufficient reasons. And yet the fine tuning of the cosmos is just the beginning. 